you're a gamer, video editor or work with 3D modeling, then you'll know that VRAM is one of the most important things for your work. A good amount of video random access memory or VRAM gives you the ability to go about your graphically intensive work without stutters, freezes and other frustrations. In this video we discuss what VRAM is, how to check it and whether or not you can increase it. What is VRAM? As noted, video RAM is dedicated to the medium. It differs from normal RAM in that it works with your graphics card, but it performs the equivalent job. The regular RAM is a short-term data store for data and information from the CPU. The CPU calculates and processes, the RAM stores. That's very much the same deal between the GPU and the VRAM. GPU processes, VRAM stores, graphical data like textures between the GPU and the display. VRAM is just one of the many factors that affect frame rates in games and lets you video edit and do 3D modeling or animation without seizing up your computer. While each game pushes your VRAM to a different degree, Red Dead Redemption 2 will push your PC much harder than Minecraft for example, as a general rule, here's how much VRAM you should have for a smooth experience without artifacting and choppiness. 1080p, 4 to 6 gigabytes. 440p, 6 to 8 gigabytes. 4K, 8 gigabytes and more. VRAM is something that physically exists on your GPU, so you can't increase your VRAM without changing your GPU. However, you can do some things to make sure your PC is making the most of the VRAM available to it. How to check your VRAM. First off, whether you can increase your VRAM depends on your choice of machine. If you're on a Mac, your options are limited. And for all intents and purposes, you can't do this. On Windows, it's a slightly different story. Regardless, you can check how much VRAM you have on either machine. Here are the steps for Windows. Open Settings, System, Display. Scroll to the Advanced Display Settings. Check the Display Adapter Properties link. On the dialog screen, click the Adapter tab. Here, look for the dedicated video memory option. This is your total available VRAM. Note that if you have a laptop with a dedicated GPU, the above method might just point you to the amount of regular RAM dedicated to your iGPU. To see the VRAM available on your dedicated GPU, you're better off getting a tool like HWinfo64 and checking it there. On Mac, you'll head to the System Information Panel and look for the VRAM figures under the Hardware, Graphics Displays, Setting. You can't technically increase your VRAM, but there are a couple of tricks you can do to give it a little boost. Fake a VRAM increase using registry keys or increase the amount of RAM allocated to VRAM through the BIOS. Link in the description. If you're unsure about the difference between RAM and VRAM, we have a guide for that. Also check out our guide to how to use the different kinds of game controllers with Steam also. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. I will see you next time.